Senate. I live in a Marxist in a Marxist state right now, and I'm pissed. I'm one of those moms in 2015 who got really pissed off and ran against an establishment Republican, a rhino, and I won. <laughs> But let me go back to, they're in session right now packing our courts. And that's what they're gonna try to do in your legislatures next. They're gonna steal, they're gonna steal your house, your Senate, your governor's races. Then they're going after your courts. They're doing that today in Virginia. And I left the floor of the Senate. And by the way, I wanna thank um, Josh Barnett and David Jose for, and Heather Mitchell for, Helping us because I actually, uh, Wendy Rogers, State, State Senator Wendy Rogers and Sonny Borelli um, hosted my team in Arizona when they were doing the audit and they're teaching us how to submit notices and affidavits. Well, guess what? Here's some good news. Yesterday, on the floor of the Senate, because the governor called a special session, I decided I'd take advantage to let them know that I wasn't real happy that they rejected my budget amendment for $70 million out of the 4.3 billion federal dollars of our taxpayer money they were spent. I figured, you know, $70 million is nothing, right? For restoring our integrity in our elections and the confidence of our voters. They would not even accept my budget amendment. And so, during the conference report, I said, well, I think you're missing something here. We're missing a $70 million budget amendment by we the people. And the people of Virginia, not legislators, we the people, they gave me, they drove to my house the night before session, brought me 4,000, over 4,000 notices and some affidavits. And I had those with me on the floor of the Senate yesterday. And guess what? Guess what? Here it comes. Here it comes. So I, let, I gave him a courtesy, I said, I have a big surprise for you today. And so I served during session yesterday, 4,000 notices and affidavit, some affidavits to the Senate of Virginia and is recorded, it is documented online in Virginia, virginiageneralassembly.gov, you can go see it there. Washington Post was there, Richmond Times Dispatch was there, all the media, they sit right in front of me on the floor of the Senate. And I told them yesterday, we, we actually went, before we got on the plane yesterday to come, I said, to tomorrow and the rest of this week, they're going to be meeting through Wednesday. I'm not going to participate in your packing of the courts, and people are going to know that I did not participate in this because I'm going to be in South Dakota with Mike Lindell. Thank you. But what I want to say is this, I want to thank Dr. Frank because he's come to Virginia and been on some of our calls. We have a, in Virginia, we have a call that we, that I spearhead twice a week to bring all of the grassroots leaders in Virginia to discuss what we're going to do and to put together the evidence. But I want to encourage those of you who live in a Democrat trifecta that you can still do something. You've got to mobilize the people just like the left did all during the last summer with all the rioting and the looting and all of that. And we must demand every single state across the United States of America, we have seen what they have shown us today. We have to have a forensic audit in every single state. Every single one. Senator, you're, you're exactly right. And Senator, I just want to say, the people of Colorado are demanding